Um, I've got one more poem for you. This is my angry poem. I think every poet's got an angry, slightly politically charged poem, and this one's mine. I'm in a beautiful place, as these words occur to me. To my left are mountains, and to my right is the sea. There's no money here, but the shadow-speckled rooftops and crooked chimney pots, the smell of we and territorial graffiti hold a special kind of charm for me. I raise my face high. The sun's already hot in the sky, and as I try to tan my eyelids, I look at the yellow-red glow on the inside of my skin and focus on the sounds of breakfast, on soft discussion, on the timpani of toast and the percussion of knives and spoons accompanied by a jealous soprano cat. The baguette is ripped to shreds and the crunch of the crust must thrust crumbs up because I hear them fall like rain to patter on the patio. My little brother's trying to annoy us by slurping his juice and burping while his twin makes a din with the jam and asks for croissants, but when mum says you can go buy them yourself, he panics. He doesn't speak the language and as she puts the euros into his tiny hand and tells him what to say, he shies away. It's too tasking. He repeats after her in a small voice and is suddenly regretting asking. He begs her to go. She knows the words and isn't afraid of grown-ups, but she doesn't give in because she knows it's good for him. But it's already a bit late. He's already eight and his innate ability to master language is fading fast. He won't even start learning French in school till age 11. And what year seven wants to learn to speak in front of their new peers? In front of the girl they fancy. In front of their mates who laugh and clap when they pronounce it civis plat. And the teacher knows that if they're ever going to become capable, they'll need more than Amelie and verb tables and is concerned that even the pupils know that this is no way to learn. But what can they do? They're only a page or two ahead themselves, but they're doing their best because they've heard horror stories about teachers getting the sack for their lack of linguistic skills and so fill the kids' heads with subject matter. They're not so hot on themselves because they were the only member of staff with a rusty O-level and, oh, I reveled in having a go at my folks when I, for not teaching me when I was young enough to find it easy. I thought it was obligatory, but we moved back to England before I could even say their names, and so I had to take the long road like everyone else, and every time felt so jealous of my bilingual cousins, and as I speak to family, friends, godparents, and blood brothers, I'm embarrassed for my country. For the way they made the effort, and we didn't. For the way we seem to think that shrugging mute is an acceptable substitute, and subtitles make us roll our eyes, and then my brother returns with his prize. His arms are full of pastry and even some change, and he's amazed when this is met with praise. He can't see it, but he's been brave in a way that makes mum and dad hope that maybe today won't be forgotten by the time he's in class, and maybe he won't join the mass of people who for some reason don't doubt that foreigners always know what you're on about, as long as you shout. But possibly, probably... To him, it will never be anything other than a pain in the ass. The vast gaps in his vocabulary will be a mild nuisance when he's on holiday, and instead of getting to know the people who send him a present every Christmas and birthday, he'll look at his feet and greet them with a shy smile as they kiss his cheeks and probably won't speak again until the goodbyes at the end of the week. And despite this French connection, he'll still say mercy with an Anglican inflection. He won't fill his lungs to spend his breath on growing a double tongue, discouraged by an education that believes aesthetically in learning... Theoretically, even though speaking it means being able to communicate with an extra 300 million. But I get it, I mean, why bother, eh? They all speak English over there, anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.